Welcome back everyone for another episode in our Snack Size series where we're taking a look at different blueprint nodes, tools and features and explaining them and how they work and what they can be used for. Today we're going to look at the Normalize to Range node. This is quite a useful node and essentially it's quite simple. All it does is it takes a value and it normalizes it um, based on uh, these two values here. Now when we say normalize in programming, what it basically means is we want to turn a, uh, a high value into a value which is between 0 and 1. Now this has many uses and which we'll go over in a second. But let's show you how it works in regards to this um, uh, node here. So if my value here, if I type in say is going to be um, 75, my range minimum would be 0 and my range max would be 100. Now what this means, this means that this return value here will output at uh, 0.75 because 75 is 0.75 of 100. And we, to test that, to show you that that works, I'll just put it on a tick. And print string. And compile. And you can see 0.75. It's normalized it. Okay. So let's test that with another value. So let's do uh, 540. A range minimum of say 678. Uh, no, 678. Uh, 378. And a range max of 152,000. Okay. Compile that. And it will now spit out a normalized value. So it keeps it fixed between 0 and 1. And we use normalized values all the time. Um, predominantly, I've used them for um, uh, working out directions and things like that because they come out in normalized values. Um, but what one way I'm going to show you, which you probably have guessed by looking at the previous screen that we were on, is we can use it with progress bars. So here I have a progress bar here showing a leveling up system. I've just coded a leveling up, leveling up system for my first person character. Um, I won't go into how it works. I've got a video on that. If you want to know how to make a leveling up system, you can head over there and watch that video as well. Um, but in my graph for my um, leveling up system, I've got this set up. So my graph here has got XP current and XP max going into my normalized range. The current value of my XP the player has is going to value. The range minimum is zero, because you can have, minimum you can have is zero XP, and the maximum is the is XP max. Um, now I'll go into there, and now I'll output a normalized value. Now the reason why we want normalized value is because on a uh, widget, a progress bar, its completion rate, as you can see over here, varies between zero and one. Okay, so you can't put in a value of greater than one, otherwise it will just fill up the whole entire bar. So we have to normalize the value. So whenever we're working with XP, health, mana, timers, all that sort of thing, we want to show in a progress bar, we want to show it with a normalized value. And that's when this handy little node comes into play. So if I was to push play and show you this working, I'll push my key to give myself XP, and you can see it giving myself a normalized value and increasing the experience I have. Pretty simple. So I think you would agree, a very simple but very powerful tool um, used quite often to create, especially user interface stuff like that. So if you have any questions or comments you want to leave below, please leave them below and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.